Diversity in Plants Various types of plants are found in many places around us. Some plants like grass are short, for example, periwinkle plant, while others are tall and have a canopy, for example, banyan tree. Some plants grow underwater, for example, algae, while some others float on water. For example, lotus. Have you seen a lotus? Don't they look beautiful floating on water? We find that some plants grow even in deserts. For example, cactus. We find that there is a lot of variety in the same type of plant. For example, different types of roses and mangoes of different flavors. There are different varieties of rice or wheat. Some plants grow even without stems, leaves or roots. For example, mosses. These are very different from ordinary plants. Let us study this diversity among plants. Are you ready? Mode of Nutrition Students, in 5th standard, you have learnt that plants make their own food in sunlight. Such plants are called autotrophic plants. For example, the hibiscus, pomegranate, periwinkle, etc. Whereas, plants which do not prepare their own food and depend on others are said to be heterotrophic. Will you remember that? For example, funguses, loranthus, dodder, etc. Do you know, some plants like the pitcher plant even consume insects. Can you imagine that? They are insectivorous, means insect-eating plant. The structure of a plant Plant structure can generally be divided into two parts. The stem which grows above the ground and the root which grows below the ground surface. The root, stem and leaves are the main parts of plants. But from time to time, plants bear flowers for reproduction. Flowers are transformed into fruits. Fruits have seeds. Seeds give rise to new plants. Students, you can perform one activity. Try to grow a plant by sowing a seed of any plant in soil. Now, isn't that an interesting thing to do? Students, let's visit a garden today. Do you like gardens? I love them. Observe the different plants there. Here, you can see different varieties and colourful plants. Here, we can see various vegetables and fruit plants too. Wow! This tomato plant is so beautiful. This is the flower and these are the leaves. This is the stem of the plant. And yes, the tomato is the fruit of the plant. Hmm, where are the roots of the plants? Yes, here they are, beneath the soil. So students, this means flower, leaf, stem, fruit and root are the main parts of the plant. Do remember this. Can you do that? Good! Because you might get a question based on this as State the important parts of plant. Now, let's start the detailed study of each part of the plant. Importance and functions of parts of plant The first part of plant is flower. The flower is the most attractive part of a plant 
I'm sure you agree. It is connected to the stem by a stalk which may be long or short. A flower has a typical color and shape. The flower is an important means of reproduction means giving rise to new plant. The second part of plant is the leaf. The leaf is flat. It plays an important role in the production of food. Leaves are mainly of two types. Simple, for example, shoe flower plant and compound leaves, for example, rose plant. Are you following till now? Very good. So let's move on. The third part of the plant is the stem. The height, shape and size of a plant depends upon the stem. The stem carries out the functions of production, conduction and storage of food. In some plants, it has the function of reproduction. The stem gives support to the other parts of the plant. The fourth part of the plant is the fruit. I'm sure you eat yummy, yummy fruits. Fruits have different shapes. Fruits contain one or more seeds. The pods of beans and peas are actually fruits. Understood? The fifth part of plant is the root. Roots hold the soil firmly and anchor the plant. The main functions of the root are to absorb and transport water and nutrients from the soil. The roots of the carrot and radish also store food. There are two types of roots, tap root and fibrous root. Students, note that you might get a brief question based on this, like Describe the importance and functions of parts of plant. 